Following our stories last week on the growing opposition to a controversial new wing of the city's jail, a city council committee committee held a hearing on the issue today. As investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein tells us, the unusual design for the building was at the top of the list of concerns. There's nobody who wants to live in a panopticon, some dystopian nightmare. We all saw the images. It's a very disturbing area. There's only one left now at Stateville, and that's only there for historic reasons. After a series of reports by Channel 4 last week, the City Council's Criminal Justice Committee held a hearing today on a proposed plan to build a new wing of the city's jail for mentally ill inmates, a project known as Phase 3. The current plan, ordered under a federal consent decree, calls for a panopticon design, a layout in which inmates are housed in a circle surrounding a command center in the middle. The last panopticon prison in the country, in Illinois, was closed in 2016. How could we ever be for something uh, that is not only inhumane, uh, but something that is medieval at best? The council heard from more than a dozen people on all sides of this issue, and not a single one favored the phase three panopticon design. The nonprofit Bureau of Governmental Research issued this report asking for a review of the design and the rising costs, now estimated at more than $2 million a cell for about 56 cells. The Criminal Justice Advocacy Group, VOTE, conducted a survey of inmates just yesterday and found that the vast majority of inmates didn't even know they were represented in the consent decree by the MacArthur Justice Center, much less the Phase 3 plans. Uh, that's a problem if the lawyers are out here trying to say what the people on the inside want. The Justice Department and, the, and MacArthur want to build an overly expensive glass prison hellscape to house the mentally ill because the lawsuits that have gone on for a decade have angered them. Well, all this begs the question, Mike, who's in favor of phase three and of course, what's happening with it? Well, first of all, this is a federal court order, but the key is really the MacArthur Justice Center. You heard them mention they are the plaintiff's attorneys in court. They have reiterated their support for phase three as designed, but they have not returned my calls for any comment or explanation. All right, so much more to come on that. And you're on the sheriff's beat. You have another investigation coming up at 6. What can you tell us about well, that? Well, that's right. In this one, this involves a controversy over a key appointment that the sheriff made in which her own strongest supporters are questioning why this employee is being kept on at full salary despite being fired more than three months ago. That's a big question, and we're going to find out the answer. Stay tuned. Six. Thank you, Mike.